let's talk fallen angels or the watchers so last night the holy spirit led me to watch the movie the watchers that is currently being displayed in theaters right now so i don't really go into depth this much about these kind of things on my page but i feel like holy spirit is really leading me to share a lot of the knowledge and wisdom that i've been given over the last couple years of walking with his holy presence and over the past couple of years the holy spirit has led me down many rabbit holes and one of the rabbit holes and one of the things that i have researched in this time with god is predictive programming i want to let you know that there is a huge 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 spiritual aspect behind what we watch what we listen to and the things that we feed our spirit so predictive pr programming is essentially where the g-o-v-e-r-n-e-m-e-n-t y'all know who i'm talking about use their tools such as the media movies tv shows to get their narrative and their point across but not only that they also use it to desensitize you and basically get you to slowly become okay with what they're introducing to you over time so essentially they're grooming you like a pedo grooms a child so that over time you will be more able to accept what is to come and that is what i believe the movie the watchers was so I know that a lot of people that may come across this are not believers in Christ or may not believe in the biblical word of God, which is essentially the only Bible I believed, the only book that I believe to mean anything, to be honest. So you should know if you read the Bible or maybe if you don't, but basically in the Bible, it talks about the fallen angels coming back again. It talks about us being like in the days of Noah. You have to remember that in the days of Noah, there were literally physical fallen angels. There was literally Nephilim, which were hybrids of the Nephilim mixing with the human beings. And that is why God had to flood the earth because these giants were literally taking over everything. They were eating people. They were just causing so much chaos. There was so much chaos and violence amongst the earth. And that's why God had to send a, my and great, a mighty and great flood to basically wipe out everything that was an abomination that was horrible that was sinful that was just downright not what he created it to be and so when watching this movie i'm gonna have to do a part two but when watching this movie i seriously felt as if it was getting the masses ready for what is to come because you have to understand that we are in a spiritual war it really is satan versus god and god is going to win he is the ultimate victory he is the almighty but the devil is still going to throw his fiery darts and he is still going to send his attacks and he is still going to talk out his neck because that's what the devil does but i'm going to go into a part two about the watchers so stay tuned for that love you guys so much